Okay, my name is Marsha. I'm the volunteer coordinator here at Hope Animal Shelter. Um, our mission is to uh, take in animals that have otherwise would be euthanized to find forever homes for them and um, to in advise the community as far as spaying and neutering how important it is. Um, there wouldn't be so many animals that would be in shelters like this. So. There were three different women. One of them, um, one of them is a uh, veterinarian over at Bernarda Animal Hospital on Broadway. Um, just in talking, um, they all shared the same common feel that there was a need for it. I mean, you have big shelters like the Humane Society and PMA Animal Care, but mm -hmm. um, as far as a no-kill shelter, that's kind of a, a more rare thing. And um, Hope can say that they're the um, only no-kill dog and cat shelter. So. Well I used to volunteer at another shelter here in Tucson, and they sort of changed their mission and their beliefs. So I came here because I, I um, knew the veterinarian that founded the place, as well as felt that because it was a no-kill shelter, it would be a good place to volunteer at. All kinds of different memorable um, stories. I mean, it's things that you really might not want to remember, but I mean, as far as dogs being dropped off and left out in front and tied to posts and stuff like that, but I mean, on the other hand, on a happier note, we have, like, dogs that have given birth here, and we've seen puppies born and kittens born, and knowing that, you know, hopefully one day they'll end up in somebody's home and, you know, have a great life, and, you know, it's another, I mean, being the volunteer coordinator, it's like you, you get to know a lot of the people, too, and you find out the people that really enjoy volunteering, and so it's it's kind of a fun position to have. Most of our animals come from PMA Animal Care, where um, shelters get calls and they um, will be euthanizing such and such an animal by, say, like 7 o'clock at night unless somebody from a shelter in Tucson picks them up. Um, so any shelter that has room will go get that animal. Um, oftentimes you have a choice of which animals you can pick up and we often take animals that are not um, the kind that people are looking for necessarily. It's like if they're, um, if they're sick, have skin conditions, you know, not the ones that are perfect, but we'll take, take them in that, are, that need medical care and that kind of thing. So it helps, um, it helps us and it's, just, it's good knowing that we helped uh, an animal get better.